don't marry someone in the hopes of who they will become. Maybe they'll get over this or get over that and become this. You marry them as if on that day, at that altar, who they are will never change. And as I was thinking about the two of you, I thought to myself, you chose well. Because of who you are today never changed, you still would be people who are coming together powerfully and bringing an impact to other people. A woman is called to be the heart of her home, which takes on so many different dynamics. It means that you need to be filled with character. You have to be secure in your own skin. Be one who's willing to embrace adventure and also be one who is a champion of others. You see, we don't always know what manhood is. We think you become a man when you achieve something like your first beer or your first woman. But anybody can go on a date and have a drink. It takes an inner strength to be able to reject passivity, to accept responsibility, and lead courageously. I did some searching this morning to find out it was 330 days ago when this guy got on his knee and been waiting 330 long days to celebrate this couple coming together in unity. And we have people who are here from all over the nation. We have people who are here from New York to Florida, California, Indiana, and Texas, and all the nations of the world are here as well. We have people from Canada, from England, from America, and of course, the beautiful Nigeria <laughs> in this place. All of these people coming together to celebrate you to celebrate the impact you have had on our lives and the mark you have made on our lives. And it is Oleika and Crystal's desire to begin this beautiful celebration by honoring the one who made a mark on their life, Jesus Christ. So we're going to begin our time together in worship. So we're going to stay standing and sing this song together called Reckless Love. But before we do, would you join me in prayer? Heavenly Father, we are so thankful for what you have done. You have done something that no one else could do by bringing together a man and a woman from their own walks of life and joining them together for a beautiful purpose. And we ask God that in this time together that you would get glory and that we would see your presence here and that Oleginka and Crystal would sense your passion and your nearness and your joy and your peace, Lord. We honor you and we worship you and thank you for a love that continues to pursue all of us in this place in Jesus name in Matthew chapter 7 verse 20 it says that you can recognize a tree by its fruit yes. and when you look at the fruit of this man Oleinka and this woman Crystal we are seeing 
someone, a couple who has been put together by God, but also by some amazing parents. And Mr. and Mrs. Avasanya and Mr. and Mrs. OG, we just want to say to you, well done. Well done. You have done an amazing job of building this couple. We all get to see the fruit of your lives. So thank you very much for your gift to all of us. They're being invited into marriage today. We're all being invited into the great covenant of relationship with God today because of God's great love for us. In essence, Jesus is calling you through the word of God to be someone who will lay down his life for his wife just like Christ did for the church. Meaning to be live a life of initiation and sacrifice. That you would be someone who would say, I'm going to initiate and sacrifice so that Crystal can be alive and thrive in God. Now you're beginning another adventure. This great adventure called the covenant of marriage. You're going to be Olienka's greatest place of comfort, his greatest place of courage, and you're going to do the same for your family, for the church, and for a hurting world. And I just want to say I'm so proud of you, Crystal, for watching you live that life of just saying, I'm not living for childish ways, but living for Jesus, his people. This man that we see today, but also a lot of others that aren't always seen, that nobody sees. Just a moment, Olienka and Crystal are going to be reading the vows that they have uh, pledged and written towards to one another. But before they do, we'd like to make a declaration of intent before God and before you uh, together at this time. Crystal, I talk to God about you a lot. In the past few days I've of talking to him about you, uh, I felt his radiating smile as he brags about you, his daughter. He loves you so deeply, and when your father speaks, I have to shut up and take notes. I'll never be able to fully appreciate the masterpiece that you are without first talking to the artist that molded you. So here's a few things I've taken note of. You're creative, just like your daddy. You can make something out of nothing. You are the life of the party. Every room we walk into, you bring light. You are a great lover of people, especially me. <laughs> you legitimately love me for me, and it's the rarest type of love I've ever experienced. You are honest, even when I don't want you to be honest, but you're always honest. You're a woman of valor. You are the finest woman on planet Earth, and I'm willing to fight anyone who says otherwise. You are my best friend. Here in a few minutes, you'll be my wife. And with all that being said, I can't just sit back and do nothing. So here's what I promise. I promise to never give up on you. I promise to give you back massages and neck massages and even foot massages. I promise to never stop growing into the man that God has called me to be for you and our future family. I promise to cherish you like my most prized possession. I promise to protect you. And I promise to love you always and forever with everything that I have. Ole Inka, your name means wealth surrounds me. I believe that your parents were given a divine revelation when they named you this. Because for wealth to surround someone, they must first have the ability to sustain and embody it. Wealth takes on many different forms. And although I know that financially you are a provider, that is not all. You are rich, rich in character, a man of honor. You are rich in your love and devotion to Jesus. You are rich in your sacrificial love, humility, and care for me. Rich in your desire to see me become the woman, of, the woman God has called me to be and the desire to be the best future father to our chocolate and caramel baby. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Rich in your ability to follow God boldly with conviction and to be a leader to so many. Many people see your strengths, but I have been privileged with the great honor of tending to your weaknesses to be your sacred safe place when times are hard, to be your partner forever, to speak and to stand for you 
when you can. I look forward to building a legacy with you, but I also look forward to clinging to the gospel when storms hit our marriage. Amen. Today we become one, and today I also lay down everything that chooses me over you. This time they're going to be exchanging rings. And you know, this has been an age old tradition, but why do we do it? We love to stare at a ring's beauty and admire the shape or the weight or the design of every ring that we look at. But there's more than a stare factor that's in effect for the ring that's about to be placed on the left hands of both of you. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9 through 12 says, Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. So from this day forward, I charge you to wear these rings in the sight of the world so that they will know that you are in covenant to another and in covenant to God. And please join hands with her and say these words. I, Olienka, receive you, Crystal. I, Olienka, receive you, Crystal. As God's gift to me. As God's gift to me. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. I make this covenant with you. I make this covenant with you. And now, Crystal, would you please take this ring? and place it on Olyinka's finger. Please take his hand and then repeat after me. I, Crystal, receive you, Olyinka. I, Crystal, receive you, Olyinka. As God's gift to me. As God's gift to me. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For, for richer or for poorer. In <laughs> sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love, honor, and cherish. To love, honor, and cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. I make this covenant with you. I make this covenant with you. So, Olika, do you take Crystal to be your wife? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others and holding only on unto her? Most definitely, yes. Crystal, do you take Olika to be your husband? And do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others and holding only, only unto him? Yes, I do. For as much then as you, Olayinka, and you, Crystal, have covenanted together according to the teaching of the scripture and in recognition of the laws of the great state of Texas, I, Carl Gully, by the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel, declare what we've all been wanting for so long. <laughs>
said to me, that was amazing. Okay, now that you're in the middle, I told you when you get to the middle, I'll tell you what to do. You're going to kiss your wife. Kiss your wife for just one minute. Yes, 60 seconds, how we count? One minute. Ladies and gentlemen, in, because you guys, this is your first time doing it. Maybe you don't know how to read very well. I can teach you. Then after teaching you then. No, Krista, how you you pretend as if I am in car for now. Just one pretend. Ladies and gentlemen, should I help him? My brother kiss your wife. I leave you in the hands of Mr. and Mrs. Obasaya as they have their first dance. the cake when they get to the number of children they want. When they get to the number of children they want, we'll cut the cake immediately. Because I believe in them a lot and I know that their ministry is strong. I'm going to start from 10. So ladies and gentlemen, 10. 10 going 1, going 2, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 8, 8, Ladies and gentlemen, perfect number seven. Seven, seven, seven. Come on now, come on now. Seven, seven, please. All right. Six. Ah, they are not cutting this cake. Six. Six, 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 six. They are going to cut it down, ladies and gentlemen. Five. Hey. Krista wanted to cut it. You can say, will you pay their school fees? Five, we are going five, going one, going two, ladies and gentlemen, four! Yeah, Crystal. Well, Crystal knows that uh, I've always had a rule that if she has a boyfriend, I don't want to meet him, see him hear about him until after a year of dating. For some reason, she felt like this new guy, you know, you know, he, he got to be my brother. He, he has, to, has to meet my brother, you know? And all of a sudden, she made it happen. Turns out, me and my other brother were boxing at the house. Um, like, this is the worst way to meet somebody, right? Like, like we're, we're all fighting each other, you know? Like, things look dangerous, and in comes Jinka, you know, bright eyed and bushy tail, you know. And we're like, oh hey, what's going on? Who's this? You know, like, <laughs> and comes in, uh, confident, you know, old, like, all right, he's not like the other guys, you know, where they're, you know, trembling their pants. And, and this guy actually took the time to paint the inside of my garage. I mean, you know, get cool, see, can we, can we get a clear? It was after then that I started to see that this guy is different, you know. Um, Crystal really relies on him. He relies on her. And honestly, I couldn't be happy to have Inca as a brother, you know. We're going to train together, I promise. We're going to 
We're gonna really get swole. <laughs> anyway, all right, I'm done talking. So, Crystal has always been the OG family princess. Our princess. Four brothers, acting as guardians, keeping her safe. And I am Yuga. Behave. But today, watching her in the perch, watching her walk down that aisle, we saw our OG princess become a queen. Raise your glasses. For love. Alright, here we go, here we go. Okay, so me and Crystal have been through a lot together. I'm not going to get into all that right now, there's not enough time. But we kind of have this, this bond. I've seen some boyfriends come and go, and I'm like, yo, next, thank you, next. Thank you, but next. Uh, Ola Inga shows up, I'm like, okay, thank you. Let's hold off on the next for now. And, and this moment's here to stay, so I just, um, I'm really proud of Crystal. She's done a lot of great things. Um, this, is the, this is another great thing in the wake of a lot of future great things. So I just look forward to what you two do together. Um, I'm really proud of you. And I'm going to hand it off to my big bro, big, not figuratively, my big bro, Chris. All right. Let's hand it over real quick.
and I talk to other people, I show off. Yo, man, my best, my best friend's a pastor. He's gonna be a pastor. I talk about you like you in the NBA for real, bro. You know, and I know for a long time it was you talking about me that way because I played, you know, but it's flipped, man. I really look up to you and I'm proud of who you are and what you're becoming. And I just pray that God continues and Jesus Christ continues to stay the center of your relationship. And I pray that y'all have a wonderful marriage and wonderful chocolate and caramel babies. And I pray that y'all continue to bless people through your ministry. Pass the mic? Alright, I'm finished because I gotta give up the mic. Hello everyone. I'm gonna keep this really brief. Or at least I'm gonna try. Um, but I just wanted to give a toast and a speech to a couple that I can genuinely and honestly say truly inspires me. And um, the inspiration is based on the fact that Olienka truly pursues Crystal like Christ pursues the church. Crystal truly respects and honors his leadership. And that is something that I want to embody when that day comes. This is, I know a lot of people that are married and I, this is not hyperbole, this is me being genuine. I know a lot of people that are married, I have friends that are in long-term relationships and this is one couple I can say that is at the top of who I look up to and who inspires me just because of how they fight for love. And so I just wanted to just congratulate them and wish them all the best. And as Abraham said, we're looking for the chocolate and caramel babies to come up real soon, girlfriend. Real soon. Show out, give Crystal that ring. Yeah. 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 The heat, everybody.
today. Y'all yeah. yeah. know me, man, that boy don't play. No, I'm going to shoot the J. Yeah. Yeah. Steph Curry. Yeah. Yeah. Coming down there, you know it ain't for now. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to pass it to Sam. You can make noise if you want. <laughs> Come on, you guys. I know you got a better smile than that. Oh, is it smile? Yeah. Yeah. Smile? There you go. Alright, that's straight. 